Good Sunday night, San Antonio. I'm meteorologist Mia Montgomery with this weather authority update. An official high of 103 here in San Antonio earlier this afternoon makes for our 22nd consecutive triple digit day. That now snags the top spot for the highest number of triple digit consecutive days that we have on record. And we are going to tack on to that by one more day into our Monday afternoon before we start to see some brief changes work their way into South Central Texas by Tuesday and lingering into early Wednesday. But first, here's a look at your case at 12 hour forecast planning out your Monday morning. Upper 70s expected, partly cloudy skies throughout the day. A temperature of about 95 degrees at lunchtime and then into the later portions of the afternoon. We've got that forecast high pointed at about 103 degrees. Coverage is expected to be very limited tomorrow, but sure, a stray shower or two not completely out of the question, especially as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. Then we're going to bump up that rain chance slightly as we head into our Tuesday, and this is why we're still monitoring this tropical wave that has now moved into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be tracking westward over the next 48 hours. The National Hurricane Center is also monitoring it as well and has now given it a likely chance that it does develop into at least a tropical depression, if not a low end tropical storm by the time it moves in to deep south Texas and northern Mexico. Right now, that time frame looking to be early Tuesday morning. So here's the latest version of our future cast to pick what the radar could look like here over the next 48 hours. You can see as we head into our Monday afternoon, that low pressure system now working into the warm waters of the western Gulf of Mexico into early Tuesday morning before the sun comes up, starting to see that rain move into deep south Texas near Corpus Christi, stretching over to Browns Brownsville, even into the Laredo area. And also you can see throughout the day on Tuesday, the heaviest rain and the more widespread rain does look to fall south of San Antonio, but still I do think it it is possible that we see some widely separated downpours push across parts of the area. Better chances of finding rain look to sit the farther south you go. So it's not going to touch everybody on Tuesday. Unfortunately, just know the better chances will be farther south and not as good of a chance the farther north that you go. And then a stray lingering shower possible on Wednesday before for the most part we start to dry things out as we head into the latter part of the upcoming work week. By the way, with the added cloud cover in place, we are expecting afternoon highs to not reach 100 degrees for the first time this month on Tuesday as well. So that is a little bit of a victory too. It also is going to be breezy. You'll notice a healthier east wind gusting upwards of 30 to 35 miles per hour on Tuesday specifically. Don't get used to the slight break in temperatures though because high pressure strengthens yet again as we head into Thursday and Friday. And that means that those triple digits will return to the forecast.